Back to manga. Boy. Oh, man. The hands. The fucking hands have been real. And I'm going to keep saying that shit over and over again. Yo. Let's start with Chainsaw Man. So, Chainsaw Man, chapter 64. Man, look. When I tell you the fucking hands. Not a lot of hands were thrown, but it's the quality. The sheer quality. Quality of the hands. That's what makes it different in this uh, in this episode. So, we start the episode off, and uh, I, I just find it interesting. So, when Chainsaw Man returns from hell, and he's in a different building, looks like he's a ways away, and he has, I want to say it's like intestines wrapped around his uh, wrapped around his neck and his torso, like his chest. It reminded me of a leash. And when Makima is just, you know, she just has this look on her face. I can't tell if it's a look of confidence or, or not, but she just has this this calm look to her. And she basically tells, you know, Chain, like, Denji to come here. And when he does, he fucking slaughters her. Like, she body parts everywhere. It's like, you know, as much as you... It, I don't know. It. I'm not going to say it's anticlimactic, but I for damn sure didn't see that shit coming. I'll say that. It was definitely a surprise. I feel as though she's not dead. Because if she was to die, it'd be something much, much, much larger than that. It, it'd be more dramatic, with more, much more weight to it. Especially after what Denji saw that she did to Power and how she did Aki and all these different... Especially after that explanation of why she did it. So then we find... Um, we see Kobeni. Man, I hate mispronouncing names. I should have waited for the anime to start, but... We find Kobeni, and she's working at this uh, weird-ass fast food restaurant. And, man, I'd be feeling bad for her because she's this very timid, emotional character. And she's, like, you can see she's, like, high anxiety. And I'd I be feeling bad every time I see her. I couldn't even find the comedy in it just because of how bad I felt for her. And she's getting treated like shit to the point where she's asking somebody to save her. And as soon as she says, save me, Chainsaw Man just shows up. He's just there, randomly. He just shows up and these people start, you know, freaking the fuck out because, you know, some goddamn demon in front of you with chainsaws coming out of him like nothing. And, you know, you can see Denji's inner voice saying, you know, I've been a minute since we had a couple since uh, we had a burger. I wonder what it'd be like to have a burger that wasn't rotten or disgusting or something along those lines. Yo, the parts where... Like everybody starts, I, I I don't know if it's if they say something. No, no, no. So Kobeni couldn't say, oh, she would get hurt by her by the fellow staff. But it's the like it's when the staff started reacting. Either they would say something or they would over like they would scream and tear because it's a fucking demon in front of you. But these heads, one by one, just came flying off, and Kobeni just had the simple job of repeating her line and then. Walking the food over to Chainsaw Man. Because all he wanted was a burger and some fries. And she dropped it on him. And I'm like, ooh, death. You are dead. It's a wrap. You're gone. But no, no, he's just sitting there and he just keeps saying, you know, hamburger. He just wants hamburgers. Like, yo, all right, bet. We'll get you. Grimace Menace. I got you. Don't worry about it. So she goes to get another combo. And the dude's like, don't fucking drop it on him. Whatever you do. Don't drop that shit. And she says, all right, bet, I got this. I got this. Nah, she doesn't. She does not say that in, in the very slightest. She's a nervous wreck. So she's walking up, and you can see her foot just catches, and she just slips and drops it on him again. And then the chapter ends. When I tell you, this, like, chain, I, there's no predicting chainsaw, man. I, I'm not even finna sit there and try to theorize of where the story is going to go from this point or what the fuck's going to happen I'm lost in the sauce and I'm wondering if anybody else is feeling it too gotta say I, I be feeling so bad for Kobeni because she just she just isn't good at the jobs that she's being portrayed in within the story and it's like yo man you are going through it bro you are fucking going through it at the worst possible time at the worst possible time ah <sighs> 